Hello guys, how you doing? So yes, it's your um, your friendly bass tutor here and um, source of entertainment. Uh, today I'm going to talk to you about my effects unit because uh, you guys are asking me what effects I use a lot. Even though I've done a blog post uh, a review on the effects unit I use at my blog, uh, but on YouTube people are still asking, so I thought I'd quickly do a video. Okay, the actual review is down below. All right, okay. The review is down there, and I'll take you to my blog, which will give you a more in-depth review of what I'm uh, going to go through here. What effects do I use? I use one of these little bad boys, a Korg a Pandora PX5D. Okay, that's it. Okay, it's not about what really what gauge strings I'm using um, or what bass I'm using. Everything that's sounding good that I'm doing on YouTube is because of this. All right. Um, it's brilliant. I absolutely love this. I've used effects units in the past that have been a bit ropey, but me personally, I really, really like this. It's getting a bit battered as well. Um, uh, let's see if Cork send me a new one because I'm endorsing their product. Ah, <laughs> yeah, like that's going to happen. Right, okay, listen, this is good because, right, number one, it's USB. Bam, USB straight into my computer, okay, which means I can just plug in and play literally that simple um it comes with software as well but i've never used it because i'm using a mac so it was just plugged in and it worked um but uh, I, I presume the same thing would happen with pc i don't know i haven't tried it okay or you can use batteries if you're using it through an amp okay uh, i have never used this through an amp because i've never needed to because i've only ever used it to uh, do lessons and everything else i do online all right, so uh, I, can't, I can't comment on that. It has hundreds and hundreds of effects on it. Um, but you can then go into the effects and you can change the amp settings and you can put effects on effects. So say that you had like a distortion, some of the dist distortions I use for the heavier stuff and then I could put a delay on the distortion or I can put a flange or a phase of some sort or anything like that, okay? So you can put effects on effects and then you can just really get in. So you've pretty much got infinite um, opportunity on the stuff you do, okay? I like to use the guitar effects a lot. All right. Um, I think that the guitar effects uh, are applicable to the bass guitar as well. They sound great. Um, if you look at my video Snow, which I'll put a, a link to down there, that's a, a guitar effect called SRV on this, um, and it sounds really, really great. Okay. Not only that, but it's got tons and tons of drum patterns and drum and rhythm patterns. I think it ends up being 700 and something in the end. Um, so all of the bass, all of the beats and things like that you can do is all in this little bad boy as well. All right, uh, it's a tuner. Um, uh, it's just, it's a really, really good little bit of kit, basically. All right, and that's it. Okay, so uh, need not ask any more because it is a var. Um, so uh, do, do, do. your input, obviously, your jack goes into your bass. There, it's got an auxiliary lead as well, so you can plug your iPod in and play along to stuff or record along to stuff, which is in your iPod. A uh, foot switch, an external foot switch, so you wanted to set up your uh, pedal board if you're playing live, and obviously your output is your headphones. Okay, simple as that. If you want to buy one of these, um, please do so using the link on my blog because it gives me a teeny weeny weeny small bit of commission, and I mean small, but it all goes to the greater good. Um, but also, that was the cheapest one that I could find online. Okay, um, so go check it out, go check out my full review on the blog. And um, yeah, there it is. Cork Pandora PX5D. Excellent. Take care, guys. And I shall see you soon. Bye-bye.